All those years ago, because of war, my ancestors brought back things that did not belong to them. And every time I look at that bronze, it shouldn't belong to one or two individuals. Ladies and gentlemen, there are only four in the world. I can kick your ass without leaving this couch. Show me. So I know this movie is already playing in a number of countries around the world, but as you can see, it's going to be opening uh, this month here in the United States. But I wanted to review it because I think this is an excellent example of other countries starting to uh, encroach on Hollywood territory. I mean, this is tip. This is a great example of the kind of film that you would only find coming out of Hollywood at this. A level of quality for a very long time, for decades. But suddenly, uh, and I mean, Jackie Chan has made some good films before and directed them as well. Uh, not to, you know, disrespect his really impressive resume. Uh, you know, he has one in the United States, but he's also, of course, a much more, even more prolific uh, movie star and filmmaker in his homeland. But here, as you can see, He's taken, I think, everything he's, lear he's learned in Hollywood and how China is progressing as a film industry itself to create something that, you know, if you couldn't tell that it was being dubbed over, you would totally think uh, was made here in the United States. And it looks really great. It has its classic Jackie Chan stunts. Kudos to him. He's still doing them. I really liked the rollerblade sequence that's uh, shown at the end. Uh, I've seen that in a few movies before, but obviously never as clever as the way Jackie Chan is executing it. I kind of wish they hadn't shown him when he got into the net afterwards. I felt like that was like showing too much because, you know, I think that would have been a cool thing to see in the theater. But I'm sure there's other cool sequences as well. This looks like something, I don't know if I would see it in theaters, it depends where it was playing. Films like this tend not to get great distribution in the United States, especially if they're dubbed. But I would definitely rent it, I'm a big Jackie Chan fan. And uh, some of you have also mentioned, uh, in my Gravity review, I had talked about cliches in Hollywood and how, you know, there's not a lot of representation across the board. Uh, and one commenter had said that it'll be interesting to see as uh, uh, movies become a more global business, as other countries just say, you know what, we're just going to make our own movies uh, where we cast, uh, you know, people from our own country and it's not just all going to be whitewashed like Hollywood likes to do. And I think that's incredibly exciting. Uh, I think, you know, more competition is always better. I think it ups everybody's game. So you see a film here coming out of China that can certainly compete on par with Hollywood. And I think that if they start making them in English in these other countries, uh, then they'll really be able to compete. I mean, it's a sad fact that a lot of American audiences aren't going to go and see a dubbed over film, but I think English seems to be the de facto language for cinema across the globe. It can still perform very well in all the countries. I mean, I, do, I know that it gets dubbed over, in other, English films get dubbed over in other countries, but they always play the English language as well. Uh, and I think that, you know, sadly, America just isn't going to play along. But I think this is really interesting. Uh, maybe we'll see Bollywood eventually get in on the game, trying to appeal to American audiences. I think it's great. What do you think of this film? Would you see it in theaters or rent it? And what do you think of the, uh, the 
growing competition overseas for Hollywood that soon hopefully we won't just be exporting films but importing more of them as well. Uh, write your thoughts down below uh, and I hope you'll check out these other episodes right now.